Hey everyone, this is the Mediocre Beast back with another product review. And today I am reviewing Lugia from Epic Battle Figure series from Jazzwares. And Lugia, you know, it's the most iconic Pokemon from Generation 2, I guess. Uh, people are big fans of this uh, this Pokemon. I'm not a really, really big fan of Lugia. I, I like it, but I'm not like a huge fan of it or anything. But Generation 2 was the first time I got introduced to the Pokemon game. So I have really fond memories of all the Pokemon from the Johto region. And Lugia was one of that. So I like this figure. And I've, I, I had my eyes on this for quite some time. And it, it has been going on for like $70, $70 Canadian dollars on Amazon. Uh, but this time I got it for only $26. Somehow Amazon was giving a big discount. So I saw $26 and I thought, I should get it right now. It's the best time to get it. <laughs> and as soon as I got this, the price was increased. So uh, I'm really happy that I bought it at the right moment. I was at the right place at the right time. <laughs> so this epic battle figure, uh, these are supposed to be the largest from the Jazzwares Pokemon uh, series figures. They have battle feature figure. They have the trainer series figure, the most popular ones. Uh, uh, but this epic epic battle figure, these, this series is supposed to be their largest and they are usually the biggest figures. So this Lugia looks really cool. Uh, here's some graphic on the side. Here's what's on the back. You can see the other battle figures. You see Electabuzz, Magmar, Pidgeot, Pidgeotto, Magmortar and all that. I really need to get this Scyther. I've seen the review of this video, this figure and it's, it looks really cool. Uh, I'm going to have to find this. Anyway, so these are the some of the figures that they have released. These are just battle figures, so they are much smaller. <laughs> they are not epic battle figures. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so this is the box. The box is good. Uh, one thing I should mention, the box, the way they have designed it, the product is... Uh, the product is exposed to the elements, so it's difficult to have it uh, shipped out to different places. Like mine has some spots here on the wing tips. I don't know whether you can see it or yeah, there's some dirt or something, and it's bound to be dirty because it's not it's not protected by any plastic or anything. So uh, I understand why they designed it this way. They wanted to showcase how big this was. But still, uh, they should have protected it from from the elements. So that would have been good. But overall, no big complaints from me for the packaging. It works. Now let's open this up and see how this Lugia looks from the inside. So here is Lugia out of its plastic prison and it looks really really good. Uh, it comes with a display base. Unfortunately the display base, the display stand, whatever you want to call it, it's very basic. Uh, you can just have Lugia stand on it or sit on it or however you like to put it. So uh, this display stand doesn't have any movable joints or anything like the ones that you get with the trainer series figures. Those have movable arms so you can have really dynamic pose. Uh, for your figures, but this one it's pretty static very basic display stand. It's good to have but I would have preferred a better uh, a better function or more functional display base This works could have been better Anyways, here's Lugia and this looks dope this Lugia right here It looks great. The mine has some issues uh, Like I was showing you earlier. It has some dirt on on the fingers here same goes for the other arm and it also has some it is it it's kind of dirty on all the exposed part exposed parts uh, and that's because of the design of the packaging they should have had it uh, secured with plastic or some other kind of protective measures because the way it was packaged it is bound to get dirt and all that bad stuff in it and also it's white plastic lugia is a white pokemon so uh, I'm I'm always worried about white products because they tend to catch the most dirt and they become this ugly kind of yellow, dirty looking uh, looking plastic in a few years. I hate that when that happens. 
and i i sure hope that this it doesn't happen to this as well but from the looks of it right now i think it's going to become that kind of yellow ugly looking plastic very soon so that sucks anyway uh, let's talk about articulation so lugia the arms are these arms or are these wings? Because <laughs> they look like arms because it has like five fingers, <laughs> but they work like wings. So arms or wings, whatever it is, it has really nice articulation here. Like I, I like doing this, like this motion of <laughs> uh, flapping the wings. So this is great. Uh, the wings go, uh, the range on the wings, it's pretty nice. You can also rotate the wings full 360 degrees. So that is pretty cool. You could have Lugia <laughs> doing this kind of funny pose or uh, the regular flying pose. So that's good. The articulation on the on the arms or wings, this is really good. You don't get any other uh, separate articulation for the fingers. So that's a negative. Uh, about the legs, you have articulation. Uh, near the legs you can rotate it about this far yeah that's the most you can rotate the legs uh, and you can also rotate uh, the f the feet over here uh, you cannot do a full 360 degree because of the tail but it's fine the articulation that you have and there's no articulation for the for the toes or for the talons or the feet whatever you don't have any articulation here so that's the most articulation you are getting only here and here uh, about the head you have articulation near the neck region so it can rotate 360 degrees uh, you also get articulation on the head so you can also do a 360 degree there but they had such a missed opportunity here near the mouth they could have had articulation here with an open mouth that would have been really good to have to be able to have lugia open its mouth and like uh, pose it on a on a shrieking pose like it's attacking and it has its mouth open that would have been really good to have <laughs> unfortunately it doesn't have that kind of articulation so that sucks uh the paint on the eye came out looking really nice both the eyes these are not sculpted it's just a painted on eye and that's something that i always complain about because uh, I'm worried that the paint might fade away in a, in a few years. If it was sculpted, it would have lasted longer. So that also sucks. Uh, this piece here, it looks like soft rubber or soft plastic. So it moves, but the rest of the body is solid plastic. Yeah, so the rest of the body is hard plastic apart from, apart from the, this piece near the eyes. Oh, and also the spines, spines or horns, whatever you want to call it, on the back of Lugia. These are also soft. These are also soft kind of rubber or soft plastic. I think these are rubber. Uh, so these are soft. Then again, this part here near the tail, this is not soft. This is pretty hard plastic like the rest of the tail. So even though th they look same, this one is hard plastic and you could hurt yourself here. So you need to be careful. But this one right here, it's soft. So that's fine. Oh, I forgot to show you the tail articulation. So it has articulation near the tail. You could rotate the tail 360 degrees. You could have it like this. You could have it like this. And it seems that there's articulation here uh, near the tip of the tail. But mine doesn't, mine doesn't rotate. I don't know whether it's supposed to do that or not. So uh, I'm not sure whether it's supposed to have this articulation or I'm mistaken. Do let me know in the comments section if you know about this. But mine seems to seems to be like an articulation point, but doesn't move. <laughs> Maybe it's stiff or something. So that's all the articulation you are getting with Lugia. You have the peg holes here that I showed you earlier. The display stand goes on, on, the, <laughs> on the bottom of Lugia on the peg hole. And you can pose Lugia with this, uh, uh, with the display stand. So this is the overall uh, look and feel of Lugia. I like how it, uh, it looks, but there's much to be desired in terms of articulation. So that's a negative for this figure. And another issue is that uh, the way they packaged it, it, it came out looking dirty. I don't like that. I want 
I like my figures spotless. So I don't appreciate the way they packaged it. But anyways, uh, overall, it's not too, too bad, not too shabby. Okay, now let's measure how big this Lugia is. Um, they advertise it as 12 inch figures, these epic battle figures, and it is 12 inches. Uh, uh, from the tip of the wing from the other tip of the wing so the full wingspan is 12 inches so it is actually a feet uh, wide so that's a good thing uh, in terms of height it's about six and a six and a half inches tall from the legs to the tip of the head and if you measure from the side it's about it's about eight and a half inch uh, tall uh, if you measure from the side so uh, this is a big figure compared to the other battle figures from uh, from jazzwares but that being said it's still not as big as it should be lugia is supposed to be a, like a really really large pokemon uh, so compared to the size that we see on the games or the movies this lugia is pretty short <laughs> let me show you a comparison with other figures then you'll know okay so here is lugia next to my zapdos this is the only legendary bird i have so this is the only comparison that i can do uh, in terms of comparing birds uh, so i think lugia is supposed to be much much larger than zapdos but it's not it's it's the size is pretty much uh, pretty close they are not as uh different as they should be i think so this lugia is kind of small uh, i mean i personally don't have any issues i would have preferred a larger lugia that's it but otherwise uh, i can make do with this it's not too bad <laughs> now let's compare lugia with other epic battle figures from jazzwares so this is gyarados from the same line epic battle figure line and this is also a 12 inch uh, tall figure so this looks good together with lugia right i mean uh, they look good together and here is also another epic battle figure that i have this is a venusaur it's not 12 inches but they, their excuse is that they are uh, doing it scaled for battle so that's a, that's a reasonable excuse i suppose <laughs> So this Venusaur is quite big, but not as big as Lugia and Gyarados, of course. But still, mm, this is big and all, all three of them are epic battle figures. So they are supposed to be the largest products from Jazzwares, as far as I know. And honestly, they look good together. The only issue is that Lugia, I think, is supposed to be larger. Uh, so I would have loved if they made it a little bigger. Uh, the wingspan is not as big as you would expect it to be. Apart from that minor complaint, uh, I think uh, this is not a not a bad figure. Uh, you you would have to imagine that your Lugia is kind of like a like a midget kind of Lugia. <laughs> it's a it's a short Lugia. <laughs> okay so we are at the end of the video and now is the time to give a rating to this lugia i i am sorry if i have been complaining too much in this video uh, the reason is that i like this lugia it looks great but it has so many problems the articulation is the articulation leaves so much to desire uh, there is so much opportunities that they have missed and uh, uh, it sucks that they could have made it so much better, but they couldn't. I don't know whether it was financial issues or whether they just uh, were uh, they just didn't care enough. I don't know. But whatever the reason is, uh, this Lugia could have been so much better in terms of articulation, but it's not. Also, it's kind of on the small side. It could have been larger. So that also sucks. Uh, the display stand that we get with it, it's very basic. Um, and also the issues with the dirt and all that uh, so that puts a sour taste in my mouth i wanted to love it a lot unfortunately because of these issues it's not as great as i expected it to be so that's uh that's a drawback for this figure i still recommend it uh if you find it at a good price you should get it i got it on a really good price like i said i got it for 26 canadian dollars and i think uh, it's worth that price but if you are paying say 50 or 80 bucks it might not be uh, worth that price but it depends on you if you are a fan of lugia it might not matter how much you are getting this for 
uh, it still is gonna look good on your display shelves with your other Pokemon, except it's gonna look a little small. <laughs> so yeah, apart from the complaining, it is good. It's not a great figure, it's just a good figure. So I'm gonna give this a three stars out of five. An average figure, so it gets an average score. Let me know what you think in the comments section, whether you agree or whether you disagree. I'd love to hear your opinion. And also, uh, if you could kindly subscribe to my channel and put a thumbs up on my video, I will really, really appreciate this. I'm a new YouTuber, so all of your support means really a lot. And uh, it helps me, to motiv uh, helps me to remain motivated and upload better content next time. So please stay connected. I'm going to upload some more videos real soon. Until then, take care. I'll see you next time.